Welcome back to Cryptos Are Us. I am George. We're all George. So tonight is going to be a good one. Today we're going to talk about the top crypto narrative. There are a lot of crypto narratives out there, guys. Okay, of course, we got the Bitcoin narrative. But you got AI, you got RWA, you got games, you got memes. So which one is the top crypto narrative Let's talk about it today and let's talk about what's going on. I got several things to announce for you guys. So uh, let's do it. Welcome, 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 guys. Hopefully you guys are doing well tonight. Bitcoin and overall crypto. Hey, still not bad. A little bit higher than this morning. Overall market cap up slightly. What was said this morning? Well, uh, a lot of people are waiting for a Fed share pal. And he didn't say a whole lot other than, well, here in the U.S., said that there needs to be more evidence that inflation is easing before cutting rates. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, okay? Uh, it's just a matter of when, not if. So everyone's predicting June. So we're going to have another FOMC meeting next month? Probably. No, it's not going to happen then. But in June... It's going to happen because if he's going to fit three of them in there, he needs to start sooner than later. So that will be coming. But outside of that, not, nothing else unexpected uh, came out of this. I mean, basically, yeah, let's wait for inflation to go down. But will what, inflation really go down? That's the thing. That's the thing. I don't know. I just pumped gas today. Very, very expensive. $120 for a fill-up. That's pretty expensive. Eating out, still expensive. Groceries, still expensive. So a lot of things, housing, man, houses around me selling like crazy right now at insane price. So I don't know if inflation's ever going to go away, right? So that's the thing. But according to CPI and PC, somehow inflation is going down and and, you know, Powell needs to do something to not only cut the interest that they need to pay on all the borrowed money, but also to spur up the economy some more to help the elections, which is coming up. Uh, so the best way to take advantage of the high inflation and the money that's going to be swirling around is, of course, to buy assets like Bitcoin and crypto, right? Uh, if you hold on a lot of cash, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be actually not just stuck, ruined, because everything is going to get more expensive except your cash, which is becoming more worthless every single day. All right, so think about that. But anyways, went off on a tangent there. That's that's the reality. That's, the, that's what's happening. Um, but how this relates to crypto, well, a lot of things. Uh, number one, Coinbase, the biggest exchange in the U.S., uh, they're finally going to integrate Lightning Network, okay? So people that do want to buy Bitcoin on Coinbase and crypto, well, this is specifically Bitcoin, and transfer it, well, people will see a lot less fees going forward after this is integrated because Lightning Network just makes everything much faster and more efficient and cheaper, okay? So... A lot of exchanges, Binance already did this, so now Coinbase is doing it. So this should help retail investors overall, right, to remove some of the fees. Uh, but I don't know how how soon this is going to happen. But you know, regardless, it's happening. So that's fantastic. Uh, something else that's also looking good is GBDC. In terms of how much they're selling, we got two straight days under a hundred million dollars. So that's good. Yesterday it was 82 million sold. Today only 75 million sold. So we're not seeing these massive 300 million sells anymore. So that is also pretty good. This is what we want to see, right? Right before the having event. We have only two weeks, 16 days until the having event. And if we get Grayscale to stop selling, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. We don't need $300 million worth of Bitcoin being sold per day. I mean, how much can Grayscale sell going forward? You know, I mean, the other ETFs and whales like Mr. 100 are doing their part by buying as much as they can. 
But, you know, they can only buy so much if Grayscale continues to dump. But right now, it seems like we got two straight days. Two straight days that are uh, that are pretty good in terms of overall selling from Grayscale, right? So if it continues to diminish, it's going to be fantastic going forward. Fantastic. We're only two weeks away, guys. Two weeks away from the having event. Remember, there's only a having event every four years. You have to wait four years for this. And we're only two weeks away. The most bullish catalyst of any cycle is coming in two freaking weeks. Think about that. Okay. So, fantastic. Uh, a couple other things about Bitcoin, right? We know that Bitcoin doesn't go up in a straight line. When you zoom out, it does seem like that, but it never does. And the faster and the higher Bitcoin goes, uh, the more volatility and the more dips that we'll see, right? Just like in 2017, I remember those days. Man, those were painful. Can you imagine having a 40% dip? That That's from like where we are right now, dipping to 40,000. Right. Think about the panic that would happen right now if we dip down to forty thousand dollars. Right. And it happened so many times. Thirty five percent, thirty seven percent, thirty eight percent. So right now we've seen some 20 percent dips. We've seen some 15 percent dips. OK. And, you know, they're not fun. But imagine if they were double as bad. Well, that's how it was before. So now. Right is better than ever however we will continue to see more dips so just remember that nothing goes up in a straight line forever unless you're holding on to a meme or something but bitcoin is you know there will be some up and downs so that's why i've been saying don't get fudded out or don't get feared out by the market makers the manipulators that are driving things right now don't fall for it because when in doubt, zoom out and just look at what has happened before. It's very natural. And we're just repeating what has happened before. And we're at that point when Bitcoin starts skyrocketing to the moon. We're like right there. Look at the circled green lines. That's where we are right now. And if Bitcoin skyrockets, man, all the other crypto narratives, they will start skyrocketing as well. A lot, of, a lot have started already, but you're going to see a lot more. This is nothing. This is nothing. If you think all the crypto that have pumped so far have done well, just wait until we get into the parabolic phase. If you live through 2021, if you live through 2017, you know what I'm talking about. The tail end of both cycles, you had coins go up 10x, 20x, 50x, 100x within a matter of months. Yeah, not even a matter of years, matter of months. So just wait. That is coming. That's around the corner. So it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So speaking of top crypto narratives, there's a... There are a lot of them. Which one do you think have led so far in 2023, 2024? Which narratives have been the most profitable? Did you guess? <laughs> Meme coins. So if you've been sitting on the sidelines, you're like, I hate those shit coins. I hate memes. And they're all rugs. Well... It turns out that these rugs were the most profitable <laughs> narrative of, of 2024. In fact, it's not even close. Just look at this. Okay, look at it. The blue line represents memes. And then the second is RWA, which actually has done well. Let's not, let's not discount how well they've done. And then you have AI, which also have done well. But everything else, D-Pin, Layer 1, Game by Layer 2, have really struggled in 2024. I mean, the difference is vast. Now, if you want hard numbers, this is it. Average return on meme coins 
is 1300 percent RWA 285, AI 221, DeFi 98, DPIN 81, Layer 1 70%, Game 5 64%, and Layer 2 is at 40%. So Layer 2s are not doing too well. But I mean, RWA AI, they're so hot, right? So how could they not be leading? Well, that's because there are a lot of memes that have absolutely blown up to the moon. And even the ones that haven't blown up, there's a lot that have done so well so it it really doesn't surprise me right and again you got to be careful with memes just like it's very volatile it's very risky there are a lot of rugs that happen all the time right but if you pick the good ones you do your homework you look at the team you look at the liquidity is locked or burned right and then you look at the community you know it helps a little bit it helps a little bit um, but overall, man, it's not going to stop. Coinbase, their base chain, has been absolutely exploding to the moon with volume and with dApps and memes, and their Aerodrome Finance Dex is blowing up to the moon, all due to meme coins. There's not a whole lot of dApps actually on base. There's a few. I'm not, I'm not going to say there's none. But all the volume, if it was measured, is probably 99% due to memes, right? It is definitely blowing up base right now. And so much so that Binance is like, hey, we need some of that action. So they're actually having a $1 million challenge to get meme coin creators to come on BNB chain, BSC, right? And of course, that follows Avalanche, who already the same thing okay so i mean everyone is getting involved they know these chain knows what really drives volume right now are the memes right you look at solana all the volume driven by memes i mean there are solid projects in solana but don't get me wrong but still most of the volume on solana is memes same thing with base same thing with avalanche well maybe not avalanche um but a lot of these chains are definitely blowing up. So, <sighs> yeah, don't don't ignore them. Don't ignore them. Uh, speaking of Avalanche, Big Red, Big Red at an announcement today. They're going to be listed on Mexi tomorrow. A major sex. That's pretty good. And you know what? They responded pretty well. Over ten million today. So that's pretty good. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Trader turns 13K into 2 million within one hour with some new do not FOMO, do not FOMO, yow, meow. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, you know, not, not, not all the memes have the best names, but you know what? Sometimes it does not matter. It does not matter. 13K and 2 million. Um, I think anyone will take that. Um, also, you got a, you got one that I checked out this morning. Meow, which is a cat coin, went up. It's like $700 million. It's going to hit a billion soon. I mean, these are just, you know, these memes are just going absolutely bonkers. Really, really bonkers. Even Jim Cramer says uh, Costco is near buying level. And I don't know if he meant Costco the store or Costco hot dog because Costco hot dog also jumped up to $70 million today. And they were at $80 million today. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, yes. Memes. You got to love them. You hate them, you love them. But, you know. Yeah, that's it. Uh, outside of memes, what else is there? The uh, last thing I want to talk about is just this. I did announce for those of you guys that care about the IFC, the Influencer Fight Club, big CoinDesk article, okay, about IFC 2. Obviously, a lot of you guys watch IFC 1 with Ben Armstrong and More Light, and you had Crypto Crow, you got Crypto Grady, you got a whole bunch of people. Moon Daddy was part of ifc1 but i'm going to make ifc2 even bigger so we got a big coin desk article about it even i don't know if you guys know obviously uh, i think a lot of you guys know nick carter a big bitcoin maxi david hoffman is a eth maxi 
there to headline fight, but you got you got Billy McFarlane also fighting. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know him and his story about uh, Friar Festival, but yeah, he's also in here, right? And then you got others like Cock versus Snack. Yes, they will be battling it out as well, and they have been going crazy with their their support. That's absolutely fantastic. And then you got a couple of female fights that I set up. And also, you got Caspa fans. I know I, I don't talk about Caspa, but a lot. But you got Tactical and Tech Hustler, who are both Caspa mi miners. They're going to be battling out. And also, let's not forget May, who is part of Hashpack, who is within, which is within Hedera's ecosystem. So they're going to be involved. It's going to be absolutely huge, guys. It's going to be huge. And it's going to happen during consensus this year in Austin, Texas in May. So stay tuned for that. Marketing. We'll go blow up marketing soon. All right. Uh, that is it. Lastly, it's uh, DCA night. It's DCA night. Um, I already pulled this up. Overall, up 89%. Not all time high. It was uh, I was like ninety something percent, but it's still pretty close. It's still pretty close to all time high. So again, I have this DCA portfolio. I think by the end of this cycle, this thirty one thousand will turn into like two hundred thousand. I think that's pretty easy. It may even be at three hundred thousand. Um, and all I did was put a hundred dollars in every Wednesday night. That's it. That's it. Anyone could have done this. And be up 90% without charting, without doing any a lot of fancy, smancy stuff. Uh, but you know what? It's DCA night. So let's see. You know, I have a lot of memes in here too. And uh, and a lot of them have done well. Where's, where's Cock? Cock is in here. 183%. That's pretty good. Uh, Snack is in here. 100%. So they're battling it out. Uh, I got Whiff in here, up 50%. That's not bad. And then Myro. I, hey, I forgot about Myro. I got Myro in here, 170%. So a lot of these memes are actually <laughs> driving uh, this portfolio up in a big way. But not just that. Like, look at Fetch AI up 600%. I mean, you got a lot of Solana up 300%. You know, a lot of these turn red today, though. Uh, I guess, you know, a lot of the alts did get weaker. Cardano turned red. Polygon turned red. Cosmos turned red. Celestia turned red. Arweave, really red. Uh, Manta, barely. Apecoin, I, you know, I just want to give up on Apecoin. I don't think they're coming back. You got Kulo in here that's down. So I'm hoping they come back up. I don't have big red in here. I don't know if it shows up. Render, surprisingly, in the AI space, still down. I should probably put a little into them as well. Uh, Stacks is doing very well at 200%. Um, Cardano is begging me to put more money in there, but it's already, it's already... I already have a lot in there. I may have to skip Cardano today. Polygon. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't skip these. Polygon is showing a little weakness. Where's my Avalanche? Avalanche is up. Uh, ETH is there. You got others. I think I had to put in some into Render, which is down. Um... Look at Jupiter. Jupiter up 200%. I mean, anything in Solana could just go continue to get hot. You know what I need? I need some D-Pen plays in here. I don't have any D-Pen plays. I have plenty of AI plays. Um, I need some D-Pen plays. So what I'm going to do is... Um, let me see. Let's see where Flux is at. Flux is at... 400 million and then uh what is it nosana is at 352 million they're pretty close they're pretty close 
What's another deep end play? Um, panic seller. Make sure you're reporting all these trades in your DC Pro before you attach. Okay, just so you guys know, this is like a sample. This is not real trades here. This is just a sample portfolio that I've been adding sample $100 every week. So panic seller is not real trades right here, but it's simulating real trades. Uh, so if you were, if I did do this, then it would be yes. And plus, you don't really report until you sell. If you just buy and hold, you don't report it. It's only when you trade. So that's the beauty too. Like if you just buy and hold and hold all and you, you DCA into it, you don't have to report it until you sell. Unless you live in a country where you have to report on unrealized gains and that would be crazy. Um, you know what? I, Yeah, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some Solana. I'm just gonna keep on adding Solana. I don't care. And then add some deep end plays. Um, let's do. Uh, let's do a small add of Solana. And let's add point uh, one zero seven six, which is about twenty dollars. So I got eighty dollars left. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add to both. Let's let's add let's add flux in here. Let's do uh, forty dollars. So put thirty three point eight six nine, and then let me add. Let's add uh, no sauna. Let's add forty dollars to this too. All right, so that way I have some solid deep end place. There we go. Okay, so this week I added a little bit more Solana, and then I added Flux and Nosana, and they're really close, neck and neck. All right, that's it. All right, let's do some Q and A. I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of super chats. All right, scrolling up here. Bob Analyst says, uh, someone made a meme coin using my image and likeness called CFA. Can you explain what this meme coin is all about? I have a feeling you made it yourself because I have no idea who you are. Uh, Tiger Meg, what do you think about Poto in you and pre-sale? 105 staking rewards, not shilling, asking in general through, through a couple bills in chance. Pre-sales, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like memes should need pre-sales. Some have done really well. A lot have also turned into rugs. So, yeah. And there's not much I could look at if it's not even on the market yet. Is it this one? I'm being, no, it can't be that one. It's It's not even out yet. So... I don't know. And memes definitely don't have staking rewards. So if it's integrating it, it's trying to do something different. Again, it could be good. It could turn out to be nothing. I took a I took a, a chance on sending a soul for that just an egg, and it turned out to be absolutely nothing. Uh, Count Ivan, Knightley, check the chart for bread on soul. I mean, it's just it's just copying. It's copying. The one on base is doing so well. So the soul one, which came out three months ago. Yeah, this is just a copy of that. So it's just not going to do as well. It's just like when you have Pepe on soul, it's not going to do as well as Pepe on ETH. I mean, you know, a copycat cannot do as well.
Great D-Pen is Geode. Geode Net. On Polygon. That's interesting. I haven't seen a D-Pen play on Polygon yet. Um, Real-time Comatics. So it's it's uh it's for GPS. It, it it reminds me a lot like uh like Hive Mapper and others, kind of like, like in that space. It is a deep end play, but it's not like the traditional. And Count Ivy, thank you for joining. Um, let's see, hold on. I gotta scroll, scroll, scroll. C swap, Parno Kulo, and Big Red. That's awesome. Well, I already mentioned Big Red's big thing. But C swap is killing it. Uh, hey, bud, got to work in the morning. Can we wrap it up? You know what? You were like that this morning. I don't know if you're trolling or not, but I just banned you just in case you're not. Um, LCX is the only exchange that is regulated. I, I don't believe that's the case. I'm pretty sure Coinbase is regulated as well. Probably the most scrutinized exchange on the planet. <laughs> um, Land Wolf on Avalanche, Pepe Play, Red Character on Red Chain. I. Okay. <laughs> Why couldn't Kulo get to Max C? Well, they got Kulo Swap. They're trying to build out Kulo Swap. That's probably the reason why. Uh, do you do any investing in crypto stocks? Just a little bit. I have a little, little bit of options of uh, Coinbase. That's it. I mean, when it comes to stocks, really, the only three that you need are um, well, four. NVIDIA, Microsoft, MicroStrategy and Coinbase. Those are the only four that you need. You really don't need anything else. What did you think about LUT CRO? What's LUT CRO? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Paris, could you elaborate more on the carnivore diet? What veggies are you eating? Uh, mostly just like simple stuff like lettuce, broccoli, you know, green beans, asparagus, stuff like that. I mean, if you don't have enough fiber, it's really hard to go number two. So that's the main thing. And you get some nutrients. But for the most part, I think why, what makes carnivore diet works is not so much the meat that you're eating, although I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But I think it's more for those of us in the U.S., we have so much process, like, stuff that are bad processed uh everything sugar you know wheat gluten carbs so if you cut all that out that's where i think you see all the benefits so today i actually worked out my knee a little bit and it's feeling so much better than before just from a carnivore diet i mean just by cutting out the carbs really uh the processed stuff um leaving the vegetables in there and just eating a whole lot of protein and fats and it's worked wonders for me. I, I just told my best friend who has who who just shared with me has horrible knee problems. I'm like, hey, you should try this diet, even if it's not for losing weight. You know, just to fix your knees, it's worth trying. Chef Ninja. 
you and everyone else kept trying to shill 4chan saying that it's going to come out with some Netflix documentary and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. None of that is going to matter, okay? The Netflix documentary is not going to help it one bit. Not one bit. Zero. Uh, what do you think about 80% Bitcoin, 20% cost in the portfolio? Uh, that's too risky. No, no. You can't just have 20% Costco hot dog and 80% Bitcoin. No, you need to have more than that. You got to throw some solid AI D-pin L1s in there as well. Uh, World Mobile Token, I heard about it. Your thoughts, build on Cardano. Supposedly partner with Starlink. I don't think they're partner with Starlink. And World Mobile Token, I mean, they've been out for a while. I don't, I don't really hear much about them, to be honest. They're kind of like um, Helium Mobile. So I, I see them being in the same spot. Like basically providing a decentralized mobile network, but I just really don't hear much about them at all. Yeah, it's exactly like it's exactly like helium. Um, you know, if they're using Starlink is different than partner with Starlink. You know, that's the thing. A lot of projects exaggerate partnerships just because you use Google or you use AWS does not mean you're a partner with them. And mm -hmm. I have a feeling World Mobile Tokens also like that. One dollar bet or H bar? I don't know. Bet is at four cents. H bar is at ten cents. Well, obviously, Hedera will hit one dollar before Vet. It's ten times, <laughs> ten times higher. Yeah, seafood is part of it. Eat a lot of seafood too, like fish, especially salmon. Um, scallops. Is Jitto uh, worth a small bag? Yeah, why not? Why not? Serious question. Have you seen a game, Kopi? What do you think? Is it a... Cornucopius, yeah, I've seen it. It's a metaverse game, uh, supposedly coming out on top of Cardano, but it's not done. It's they've been talking about this since like 2021. It's been three years and it's still not done. So, and I see it's very low volume, not on a lot of big exchanges at all. So, right now, I think they got their work cut out for them. DZO, okay. What do you think about more interoperability stuff like Axelar or Nervos or Alt? I don't even know what Alt is. What is Alt? Alt layer? I don't think I've ever heard that. Um, you should also talk to your doc about adding two Avil a day. Um, yeah, probably not. I don't think I need that. Um, but as for Axelar and Nervos, I mean, I mean, you should add Starlink in there or Stargate. Um, they're very useful, but I would never invest in them. I mean, there's no need to. There's a lot of DEXs that use them, but I just, I would not invest in them. Trust no one. Ron sent... Or is some currency from Ron named Ron a four ninety nine? <laughs> well, thank you. With no question, can you check out Cheers? 
yeah, it's it's pretty dead, man. It's pretty dead. People have been trying to shill Cheers for a long time. It's two million. It lost all momentum. It seems like it's pretty dead. I mean, I shouldn't say that because there's others, you know, that that have come back. But I mean, I I've seen this go up here and then you know now it's down here. So there's not a lot to talk about. Is not really moving. That's really it. People moved on to others. What's up with the CRU Plus knockoff I'm seeing? It's not a knockoff. It's my channel, CRU Plus. My Sunday walk videos on Serie Plus. My main guys, Josh and Scott, they have they have a new DGen show on there. That's Friday nights. I uh, got Noah who does TA videos. It's not a knockoff, man. It's a solid channel. Trust no one. Another super chat. Thank you. Hi there. What are your thoughts on Goldfinch? Well, if it involves gold, I'm going to hate it. And I have a feeling it does. Real? No, someone asked me about this. This is kind of like uh, Ando. It's like, um, it's RWA play. Yeah, it's kind of like that. You know, to be honest, I don't like the RWA plays that deal with treasuries and fiat. Like Ando does that, and this does too. Um, it's just not my thing. Like I, I'd much rather get involved with RWA that that is something that that I would enjoy a lot more. Like, I don't know, real estate or cars or cards or i don't know music or something like that right uh not not something like treasuries or fiat bills polka dot not one of my favorites i just don't hear a lot about polka dot can you check out baby toka at solana This one from 29 days ago it was pretty good. 44 million, uh, 7k holders. Liquidity is mm, that seems kind of low. I mean, maybe that's about right. Maybe that's about right. I mean, it, it looks a lot like Costco, kind of just like holding there. Say, so like Costco. You know, it went up to 100, dropped down to 30, now it's back to 70. Uh, actually, Baby is more solid, it's just going sideways. It's kind of high, though. It's kind of high. Uh, pretty distributed. No one has more than 2%, not even a radium authority. That may be the reason why the liquidity seems kind of low. Eh, it's about, eh, maybe not. It's about the same because Costco is about 1.3 liquidity. I'd say they look, their chart and based on their holders actually looks pretty solid. Looks pretty solid. Eric says, uh, okay, I have bad ankles and knees as a kid. I bought a quarter cow, and I'm on to another half cow, veggies, fruits, and I have no pain or inflammation. I think that's what it is. I think, you know, people, I, I hear people from, from Europe say this. Uh, they eat carbs all day long in Europe. They're fine. They eat carbs in the U.S., and they start bloating up and having all this inflammation issues and digestive issues. I think it's just the, the process stuff in the U S sucks. Um, so if you get rid of it, 
your life will get, your health will get better. That, that's what I think it comes down to. Is the stock to flow model still valid for this cycle? I believe so. But the stock to flow model is predicting that we will hit somewhere like 500,000, like somewhere around there, it's 500 to 600,000 by the end of the cycle. I don't know if we could go that high, but who knows? Tooker. Tooker Carlson. 24 days ago. Man, that's a long time ago. Start pumping now. It's been really flat for a long time. Um, yeah, someone probably tried to pump them. That's really it. I don't know what else to say. I guess we could look at the address uh, holders. Uh, mostly 2%, 1%. That looks decent. Looks decent. What are your thoughts on Stanley Cup? Chris, are you asking me about Stanley Cup every single stream? I want to check out your, I want to check out your, uh, your channel activity. Yes. Every single comment from you is about Stanley Pup. So even though I like the project, stop stop your spamming. Myro, I've not checked out Myro for a long time. Uh, they're still about the same. Myro has been a big giant disappointment. I was supporting Myro when WIF was still at 400 million. And I'm like, Myro is the one to go for. And then they completely died, lost all momentum. And then WIF did a 10 X and went to 4 billion. That was a, a huge mistake. Is Costco hot dog actually good tasting? I can't believe you're asking that. You never had a Costco hot dog. Mm -hmm. It's the greatest hedge against inflation, arguably. Because even after all these years, you're getting an enormous, gigantic, ginormous hot dog for $1.50 and you get a drink. You go anywhere else to buy a hot dog, it's, it's a quarter the size and it's at least like five bucks, seven bucks. Uh, hobbles on soul. It's like the guy's cat or something. I don't know who created it, but it's a hundred million dollars. You know, I'm not even going to pay attention to that. It's way too high. And it's a cat meme. I can't stand the cat memes. Ikea's hot dog is good too. No, it's not. Ikea's hot dog sucks. You're lying there. Ikea's hot dog is like, it's trash to me. It tastes horrible. It's much smaller and it's just no good. Ikea food actually really sucks. The frozen stuff are okay. Like the meatballs and stuff, but like the things they serve, their, their icy sucks. Their ice cream sucks. Their, their, um, their cinnamon bun sucks. Their pizza certainly sucks. Uh, Costco's food is like 10 times better than Ikea food. I, I can't really talk. I can't really talk about Sam's Club. Because there's no Sam's Club by me anymore. But I'm assuming they're equal to Costco. Trust no one. Uh, new member. Home Depot hot dog. There are some Home Depot that sell hot dogs, but it's not from them. It's not from them. 
All right, guys, that is it. Overall, guys, the Fed said we need more time, okay, which just means just a couple more months to go. Uh, Bitcoin is still doing just fine. You don't want to leave at this point. You certainly don't. And the most profitable narrative so far this year has been memes. Does that mean that it's going to stay in memes? Maybe not. Maybe RWA or AI overtakes it. But right now, there's a big, big difference. Big, wide difference between memes and everything else. So uh, stay safe, my friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time as usual, 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, last two Last two questions. Make a meme coin, get a reliable team. Makes sense. Yes. Is there a difference between morning chat and evening? Yes. Evening is definitely a lot more degen and lively than morning. Uh, all right, guys. Take care.